Hello, my name is Ilya and welcome to my channel. In this episode, I will show you how to make classic American comfort food in the wood-fired pizza oven. Today, I will be making a boneless beef chuck pot roast with vegetables. Cooking pot roast could be tricky. I personally have made some mistakes before making it right. In this video, I will give you 6 tips on how to avoid common mistakes and make a perfect pot roast. You can find a list of ingredients in the description of this video. Step number 1. Start by preheating the wood-fired oven. Tip number 1. Bring the meat to the room temperature. Let it sit outside for about 30 minutes. It will make the meat cook more evenly. Generously season the meat on all sides with lots of salt, pepper and meat wrap. I'm using Texas wrap made by Stonewall Kitchen. Tip number 2. Season the meat the night before cooking. It will allow the salt and spices to tenderize the meat. Step number 2. Pre-cut all the vegetables, potatoes, onion, mushrooms, bell peppers, garlic and carrots. Mix up all the vegetables in the bowl with some oil, salt, pepper, herbs and 2 tablespoons of tomato paste. Step number 3. Preheat the cast iron skillet with oil in the oven. Tip number 3. Sear pot roast on all sides for several minutes on each side. It is an essential process which will amplify the taste of the meat and lock all the juices inside. Step number 4. Now we are ready to cook the meat. Put pot trust in the middle of the skillet. I'm using the wireless smart thermometer made by Meter. This is a perfect solution if you want to cook on the fire and be in the full control while having fun. Insert the thermometer into the fattest part of the roast from the top, so it's not covered by the foil or brine inside the skillet. Tip number 4. Always use thermometer to check the temperature of your meat. Now layer the vegetables in the skillet with the meat. Add 2 cups of beef broth and cover the skillet with the foil. Tip number 5. Cook low and slow. Pot roast should be crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. Make sure to lower the temperature in the oven to about 375 degrees Fahrenheit. It will cook it slow and not burn it. But it's very important to cook it on the low heat. It took me about two and a half hours to cook it fully. Tip number six. Let meat rest for about 15 minutes to reabsorb all the juices and also remember to cut it against the grain before serving. Cover the meat with a sauce and fluffy salt. Now it's ready to serve. It looks and tastes amazing. Please leave comments if you like my video. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.